I was uh, riding my bicycle home from work. I got caught by two buses. One bus hit me on the right, and uh, and the other bus ran over me, literally uh, over my left leg. One of the things I thought about was, well, this is painful and uh, wrenching, but I, I think I'm just going to remain conscious because I want to be able to make choices. So the EMS people were there, and they uh, said, well, we can take it this place or that place or, or New York Presbyterian, and I said, New York Presbyterian, please. When Mr. Angle came into the emergency room, our first job is to look for life and limb-threatening injuries, and once we realized that the that he was breathing and his heart was okay and his chest was fine, it was really his leg, and so what, you know, that was a limb-threatening injury. When I saw the crew of, I think it was 10 doctors and maybe as many or more students, coming out of his trauma room, then I began to be scared. He had a very severe mangled extremity, loss of skin, bone injury, massive soft tissue injury. These are very high risk for an amputation. That was one of the more severe musculoskeletal injuries that I've seen while working here. They had to get the trauma team down right away, orthopedics came down right away, and the biggest thing that I did was comfort the patient and I let him know what was going on. Once it became clear that all the other trauma studies were negative, we just needed to get him to the operating room. Jason Spector, who was the quarterback in a way, uh, and he uh, told my wife uh, probably an hour after I got into the hospital, I think we can save the leg. Fortunately, he did not have any underlying orthopedic injuries, meaning the, there were no fractures or uh, dislocations. Saving the limb in, in a situation like this is a very difficult and complex decision and requires multidisciplinary input from a lot of different services. They handled it beautifully, I thought. You know, they were, they, they were um, calm um, and hopeful but uh, not over optimistic. When we receive Thomas Engel on the unit, working as a team, we incorporate all mind, body, and spirit just to make sure that he's comfortable, um, taking into account the extent of his injuries and the family's also well-being. Yeah, I'm pretty good spirit, and you know, that really helps with your recovery. A good will to get better is always important. Additionally, he had an infection um, of those tissues which um, made it even more challenging because obviously you can't start a reconstruction in the setting of an acute infection. We did multiple debridements, the plastics doctors did some, I did some, and really, um, to his credit, he tolerated very uh, prolonged, intense wound care, just like a major burn patient would. But every time they had a problem, they always had somebody who was uh, the answer to that. Uh, one problem he did have was a condition called rhabdomyolysis. When you get so much muscle and crush injury, you release toxins into your bloodstreams which can kill your kidneys and release massive uh, mediators into your bloodstreams that can kill you. My kidney function was compromised. I had to have dialysis. They were so successful uh, against su such odds in, in bringing me back. We had to perform what's called a flap surgery to move the muscle into place, and after that, we skin grafted the circumferential injury from below the knee to above the ankle. He healed remarkably well. He was very diligent in his post-operative uh, rehabilitation, and he's uh, fortunate to really have done as well as he has. I'm so confident to pass my patients off to any of these doctors that take just wonderful care of their patients and, and give the great outcome that Mr. Engel has had. It's very rewarding because someone like this has such complex issues and requires so many different people to participate in his care. It's always fantastic to hear because in the ER we don't get to see the outcomes of the patients all the time. So it's, it, it warms my heart to know that he's riding his bike again. That's fantastic. This is certainly a center of excellence in dealing with these kinds of injuries. I really do think that if he hadn't been at that hospital, he probably would have lost his leg. When I see my grandchildren and, uh, you know, realize I have a, I have a lot longer uh, time to be around uh, them and watch them grow up and uh, I'm just grateful uh, to all the people who made that possible.